Good evening, everybody. How's everyone doing out there in parlor land? So, we're full-time RVers. We have been full-time RVers for two and a half years. We live debt-free, and we enjoy our life. We're still middle America. We still work. We still do our thing, you know. We just made some other choices. But I'll tell you what's interesting. We are in Florida. We're in the Panhandle right now at a beautiful park. And I'm surrounded by <laughs> Joe Biden voters. But I'm also surrounded by patriotic Christians who get it, too. I'm also surrounded by some Christians who really don't get it. And, you know, I'm surrounded by Biden people who don't get it on that side. So what I'm saying is, yeah, we listen to the news and we listen to what we see on on TV and everything and there are prophets out there and it's all true but in my world where I am I'm telling you there is definitely divide for sure and I believe that the Christians that I know in my everyday sphere of influence while I'm out and about in this area are so clueless on what's going on they are expecting Biden to just do this it's not gonna happen I in fact said don't be surprised Trump's going to remain president. And the, they looked at me like I was, like I had a third eye. And I'm like, you know, where are you in this? You have to pick a side. You're either going to fall off the cliff or you're going to stand on the rock foundation and you're going to see the sucker through. And I'm telling you right now, I definitely spiritually know where this is. And I don't care if I'm the last one standing. You know what? I'm standing for truth. I'm standing for the, the person and the man that... Stands for Israel, stands for God, stands for Jesus, stands for life, stands for justice and righteousness. And it may look like an uphill batter, but I know my God, because I've been through this before with other things, and I'm telling you, it's going to happen. And if you've woken up with that feeling in your stomach and you can't share it with anybody, it's okay. Because in our everyday world where we go around, we all do this. I know I'm not the only one experiencing this. I want to scream it from the top of my lungs. And then I look across the way and I see so-and-so and so-and-so and I'm like, they are so, and they love God, but then they, they don't know what they vote for. They don't know what they vote for. And I'm telling you guys, we all have to bind together. We, have, we will win this in the spiritual realm and it's going to happen. So hang in there. Stay strong. Pray. Spray it. If you can't do anything else, you know, I can't go to the rallies, but I can pray and I get in my war room every day in this little camper of ours. This is our home. We love it. We love it. We love it. We live in a place we would no other ways be able to, to do it. And I pray and I go there. I put on my armor every single day in Ephesians, every single day. And I fight with the sword of the spirit and I walk in the belt of truth. And I'm telling you, I will walk in the feet of peace. But I'll tell you, push come to shove. I'm a northerner living in a southern world. And us northerners lashing with Southerners, too. I mean, we all got it. We're all patriots, and we all got this. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a great night, and hang in there. We got this. Stay strong. It's going to come our way.